Thanks for checking in and long time no speak. Why am I here today? Well, I'm firstly here to say thank you for checking in and watching what I've got to share. And secondly, uh, I hope all's going well, especially under the conditions that we've all been going through as best as can be expected. What a journey. Wow, I don't know about you, but for me, it has been a veritable roller coaster ride. And I think if you're someone that is uh, working from home and running your own business, or even if you're working in a job for someone else, or you're in a career role, uh, but working from home, uh, I have personally found it very challenging at times. So what I did do uh, to try and help uh, utilize this time that we may not get back again, uh, in a, you know, in a good way, trying to make the best out of it is, I went through and had a look at my systems and different things that I could work on to help me uh, you know, do good business when we moved out of this. And what I did develop was a quiz and I call it uh, Discover Where Customers and Sales Growth Lives Within Your Business. And uh, the link's below. Uh, but what this quiz does is it puts a structure together. I developed a structure a while ago called the Seven Pillar Business Sales Growth System Structure. And this structure works to help me and my clients to really understand all the steps that go into helping us find the customers, the leads, the prospects, and the sales growth revenue within our business in a structure. Because we've got people sprouting lead generation, we've got people sprouting, uh, you know, become a person of influence, which is great, and all of this is part of it, and they have a great system too, uh, but it's about having a system, and whatever system that you use, a system that will give you uh, whatever it is that you want as a result and an outcome. Because as we know, leads are great, but if we don't know how to connect with them and convert them into buying clients, whether it's online or offline, it's going to be a challenging ride, especially when we have so many things to juggle, right? Because when I first went into business, I never could have imagined the things that we have to do on a daily basis. And more so than ever now, we've got to do this social media and we do this and we do that. So where are the gaps? Where can we put our attention to get a result, right? And so what I just want to share with you in this video is the quiz link below. And for the time that we have, some tips that could help you uh, really start to utilize this time to uh, move from survival to thriving, or if you're doing well to very well, how you can continue to move forward and, and, and prosper in your business, right? So for the time that we have today, there's seven pillars. Uh, you can see all the pillars in the quiz below if you'd like to do the quiz, and I'll tell you more about the quiz in a moment. But what I just want to touch on quickly for our time that we have today is the activity to connect. I have been uh, working with a number of clients the last couple of weeks, and uh, what I realized was, and you'll find in when you do the quiz, if you do the quiz, pillar two is where we're catching customers, our marketing, but then what is the activity that we can do to connect with our online marketing activity, to connect with our prospective clients and customers uh, that will become customers, or already customers, in a structured way, and then what can we do to have a structured sales conversation? Because this is one of the biggest areas that I find. Well, actually, that I find people struggle with. If I said to you or to your team, if I asked you, could you sell your product and service and explain how you do that in a structured manner, how would you answer that question? Because this, I find, is one of the most important areas in really knowing how to sell our products and services Yet what I find, sadly, uh, good for me though, because this is what I teach, but um, most people don't know how to do this. And this is no disrespect to you or anyone because the people that I know that do know how to do it well, they've had to learn how to do it and they've made it a discipline and a commitment to learn that process, that script, that structure. And uh, there is a process and a script and a way to do that in a really nice value-based authentic manner. So this is the other gap that I find. Then. What I realized last week, the importance of what I call in a funny way, the power proposal. The proposal that comes from a structured sales conversation, if you go to a proposal or a plan stage, and knowing how to deliver that and structure that in a way where your prospective client 
pretty much says, wow, they really get what I want. They're explaining how they're going to do it. I can see the value for the money that I'm going to invest into their products and services, and I want to do business with them. Sadly, that was not the case for one of my friends who uh, had a great conversation with a supplier who was going to help her with an online particular program. But when, I got to, when it got to the proposal for her, it was sadly just a generic off-the-shelf proposal and uh, it was the loss of a very big potential client for that person that was proposing to her to do business together. So we want that to be in a good structure. Then, I won't go through the other elements, but just for today, the getting the yes and being memorable. I see a lot of people, and I have at times been like this myself, we get so busy in doing our thing, when we get the client or we get the customer and we get the yes, are we delivering on our promise? Are we going the extra mile? Because more so than ever, apart from wanting to do a good job, competition is fierce. And to go and do all this work that we have to do, whatever we're selling, whatever we're having our customers or clients come into, to only drop the ball through poor service, lack of follow-up, lack of connection, lack of delivering on what we said that we would do. So the importance of really putting the constant attention on, really giving the best possible service that we can to those people that really pay us the money to be able to run our businesses and have our wages and, and our career. And what a great form of marketing to put our attention here just as much, right? So they're just for the time that we've got the, the things that I would highlight as the areas to, re to review. If you're finding that you would like to look at how improving your customer growth and sales revenue. Uh, what else have I got for you? Well, if you want to take the where customers and sales live quiz, there is a link there, you go through the quiz, there's 43 questions broken into the seven pillars. If you do what is asked, tick it. If you don't, or you know you should, but you don't, or you don't know what it means, leave it blank. And then what will happen is when you press the submit, you'll go into the yellow belt, the green belt, or the black belt, bit of fun with some martial arts, to give you your score to see where the gaps are. And the beautiful thing about this quiz is, it will allow you to see where, if you put your attention, could help to engage more customers, to be able to increase sales revenue. Not without some work, not without some things that you need to learn and do, but at least you know, right? At least you know, and that's a good start. Now, if you would like some further help, uh, what I'm going to do is offer a business review sales growth planning session and the link is on there below also to request to have a session where we'll go through your seven pillars together and we'll go through and see what I can supply as a recommendation and ways to possibly work together but whether we do or we don't it would be my pleasure to help you and of course I'm in the business of doing business and the place I like to start is to give value and if I do work with you or your team it's always about the results that we want to get first before we go down the road to see how we're going to train and work together and what I'll also do is if you would like I'm happy to come into your business uh, and work with you and the team to go through and do the seven pillar business sales growth system quiz, have some fun, review and see where we can create some value, which would be my pleasure. Love doing that with teams. And what I've also got is uh, this script and a whole lot of stuff is in uh, this book, uh, How to Double Your Sales and Clients in 90 Days. The script is in there and a uh, little bit of a sales pitch, but. Uh, if you book in with me to do a business review session, I'll be giving you a copy of this book and uh, you've got the scripts in there too, so uh, we can both utilize our time in a really valuable way, which would be my pleasure. But regardless, I hope you found that helpful. I am here to have a conversation, if nothing else, just to know where you are and where you're going and to get a better flow going, which would be my pleasure. I'll send through more valued videos soon. Stay safe, thank you so much for watching, and uh, I'm here to help, and uh, hopefully we can build a thriving, prosperous future and uh, get through all of this time. And I really hope that you like the quiz and please, any feedback would be great. Uh, any opportunity to talk, I'm here. Thank you so much.